Well, it's finally happened. ECB President Mario Draghi has announced a QE program. It will last until September 2016. And joining me to discuss the, what will this mean for the Eurozone is Aussie Plummer with Wealth Coaching. Welcome to Duke's Coffee, Aussie. Thank you very much. Pleasure to be here. This, so the 60 billion figure they've come out with, it's much bigger than the rumoured 50 billion figure that they had tossed around beforehand. So what was your initial reaction to the announcement? There is, I think, um, a strong message being sent with this statement of a 60 million that effectively the ECB is serious about what it's doing and also very much that the Bundesbank is on board. The big resistance to any QE measures has been from the Germans who thought it would uh, disproportionately reward the profligate states of Greece and this sort of thing who'd spent all their pennies. Um, but by making a, a larger than expected figure, it is showing determination. It's also not, it's a lot of money we think, but it's, it could have been larger. It's a middle of the road figure really. It's been called by a number of people a compromise figure between Dove and Hawke. Um, uh, but it's sending a message finally saying that we are serious about trying to address this problem. We will print this money, we will expand the currency and we aim to increase inflation, we aim to get the European economy going again. So Draghi says the decision was taken to counter two unfavourable factors, weak inflation and weak growth. Will this be enough to help the Eurozone? Will this be enough is always a very interesting question. We have um, all sorts of different things happening at the same time. Of course, there is the deflationary pressure of falling oil prices, and then you suddenly have a regime change in Saudi Arabia, as King Abdullah died yesterday. So that goes on top of what happened yesterday with this announcement to make oil a little bit stronger. That will tend to aid, I think, the central bank in getting price increases, which what is what it wants at this point. But it will all have to pan out. If you um, look at Tim Geithner's memoir of the US side of the crisis when he was in charge of the Federal Reserve Bank in New York and in charge of first Treasury Secretary under Obama, he's constantly saying, we thought we'd done it, and then we had to throw a lot more money at it. And the US threw a huge amount of money at the problem. Um, this program is targeted, it's specific, it's got a time, an end date, all of which is good, but that end date may have to be changed, there may have to be more money put into the system, it will depend how things pan out. Definitely, and could QE measures in the Eurozone have the same impact as those in the UK, the US and Japan? So long as the central bank, European Central Bank, is prepared to continue to do what it takes, and that's a very important thing. The markets must believe that whatever they're gonna, whatever the markets throw at the central bank, the central bank will react, will defend, will continue in the same way. That's how the US was relatively successful. The Eurozone is a little different than the US. The US has a Federal Reserve. Um, it has reserve banks, but not one for each state. The Eurozone, of course, has a whole load of different central banks and different economic policies in that respect. However, it is to be hoped that the central bank is this time serious enough, is determined, and will continue to be determined when at the end of the day they go, oh, that didn't quite work. Because that's what the US Treasury had to do a number of times. They thought they'd thrown enough money at it, and then something else happened, or it just wasn't enough. So. They seem to think that the best thing to do was to throw money at it, and that's what they did again and again and again. The result is, for that and other reasons, stronger economic performance in the United States and the Eurozone to date. Hopefully, it's now the Eurozone's turn. Well, the programme will be begin in March, so I guess we'll have to wait and see what happens then. Thank yep. you so much for joining me today, Ozzy. A pleasure. That's all from our TV studios here in Geneva. Thank you for tuning in and remember to keep clicking back for regular updates and exclusive interviews. Bye for now.